So here with James Doran, straight off the racetrack, race three, uh, here at the Skiffs at Double Bay. Um, nice work, mate, today. You look very tired in that light, tricky stuff. Yeah, we um, we got out of the blocks well and got out of the first work. I think our handicap, you know, helped, obviously. But, uh, yeah, we started well. I mean, we picked a few good shifts up the first work and got in a good position and just stayed up there, which was good. Yeah, look, back to the start, you looked pretty committed to get that pin. In fact, you, you won the pin yeah. and you were on the first on the port. Mm -hmm. um, how big a deal was that for the rest of the race? Oh, definitely. That was pretty much a clincher uh, to get up that first work. Um, the first, we were, were a bit fortunate. The first um, start, they recalled and we were a bit buried. And from there, we just knew that we just had to attack the pin. And we did that. And here yeah, we got out of the blocks well and we were first on port and across the fleet, which was great. Uh, always nice to do that. And look, upwind, you looked, uh, you looked tidy, but downwind, um, you were on fire, weren't you? I think you were picking the right side of the harbour each time. Yeah, we... we, 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 we Took a bit of a gamble and went right and paid and it started to flick a bit east and we picked the good shifts and yeah I mean last couple of weeks we've done a few little silly areas and jibed away from the fleet and not sailed the percentages right but today we 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 tidied up our our losses the other couple of weeks and um, you know consolidated there which is good. Nice one and how did it work with uh, with Matt Searle on board? He's not your regular guy in the middle. Obviously he's a pretty competent 18 helm himself. How did that work today? Oh, we're all learning. I mean, this is the third race I've had in these boats. And, I mean, having Matt there, he's a seasoned campaigner. I think he's a second in the JJs a few years back. So having him on board really um, put us in good stead. So, yeah, hopefully we can, you know, learn from that and, and build on it for, for coming races. Yeah, and so you've only raced, I guess, a couple of times in the boat. Uh, clearly today you were very competitive in this light stuff. Do you feel that it's going to be more of a struggle in the breeze? Um, I know you're an experienced yachter yourself, but what are you expecting to, as you look ahead in the season? Um, probably just the crew work. I mean, the boat's going well. Uh, just time in the boat's probably, you know, where we're we're lacking compared to seven and appliances. Um, I mean, we just need to get out more and and really u utilize our training sessions and tacks and jibes and um, the rest will come. Well, it's early days in this 18 foot skiff season, but uh, very competitive so far. Congratulations on a great race today. And Bob, maybe you just quickly give us a a bit of a pick the podium finale. We're going to get. Uh, a pick done here? We are. We, As I said, out in the water, we've got Peter White, who got two right. He had, uh, obviously, Mojo, he had you, James. Yep. And uh, Darry Sulich and Chris Weber are the three successful. They're going into my hat right now. Excuse the head. But uh, very sophisticated arrangement. It's the best system, isn't it? Just pick one of those out for us, James. Don't right there. This is the highlight of your sailing career, obviously, to date. Well, try, and, try, and keep, try and keep cool about this. Uh, keep it together. Darry Sulich is our winner. Well done, Darry. I think Darry. he's from the UK. He's one of your blacks. One of my ex-blacks. So the summer. Bars Optic yeah. sunglasses and the Slam kit will be going off the UK. Well played. Get them in for next week, folks. Interesting game again. It's like Rag and Appliances and Smeg are all having a nice little battle. Smeg R came out of the left-hand yeah, side that, there, Bob. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, they did. And the all those, those three boats are going around that blue mark. So they're the next position. Although, Mojo, your boat has just gone around the red. So this is where these three boys come into play. This is how these handicaps unwind themselves. This gets a bit hectic and frantic and... You've got to keep your eyes yeah, on the, your eyes on the race. Right. It's, it's all going on. You need peripheral vision, but uh, we'll try and keep it simple for you. We've just gone further up the track here, and uh, we're at the back of Rag and Famish, and this boat's going along nicely, Mark. They've climbed right back into the podium here. David Witt on the helm. Uh, a lot of experience in sailing 18-foot skits, this boy. And Jackie McCartney's apparently over in F1J1 for this weekend, so hence Witty on the helm. They're going good. Yeah, they're going very nice, aren't they? And they've always uh, had a pretty decent big rig, and again, lots of sail area. And they got that, uh, that big fat head. It's not a square head, um, which is really the way that most rigs, particularly the North Rigs, go. So they keep it together, nice and calm. Decent amount of boat speed, nothing particularly flash, just doing the right thing. And uh, nice job by these three guys. And uh, you can see they're very happy to stick to this right side of the run looking downwind. That's the north side of the harbour. Because you can just see more breeze on the water. The breeze is sort of sticking to the shoreline, which it uh, often does. That's Matt Doran steering and Matt Sell in the middle of the boat. And that combination is working very nicely. Yeah, he's asking for more from BBC. <laughs> Sorry, boys, we don't have any. I'm afraid we don't have a lot of spare breeze. Um, Give you a bit of hot air, possibly, but... Look at that. Okay, so that's our two boats fighting for the lead. Uh, Jay, they've they really sailed this boat well. I'm impressed with these guys. Matty Searle, obviously, no slouch in an 80-foot skip, but they got the trim right, haven't they? They've got their body weight just perfect on these in these light conditions. Stacked it forward. That boat's just sliding along, isn't it?